When it's live. <clears throat> Where is this going to go live on what page? Uh, the Master Networks Inc. page. We're live. We're live on Facebook, live here at Master Network Studios. My uh, my name is Corey Bauman. I'm our COO here at Master Networks, and I want to welcome everyone to the E3 show, which is ed educating, equipping, and empowering our leaders and members in Master Networks. And I am with uh, my guest that I've had on for the last three shows, Brian Salt. Brian is our Florida Southwest regional partner and yes. uh, has built built a, a, a huge network down there of Master Networks community and now uh, working his way up into Tampa. Brian, welcome again, man. Thank you for having me back. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. I'm excited for these calls. It's a good well, hey, you're, you're back for the third time, so we must be doing something right. That's right, exactly. That's why I'm very happy to be back <laughs> with something right. Hey man, I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed uh, the last uh, the last two call last two shows, and uh, excited for this third one to kind of wrap up this series and put a bow on it a little bit. We've been talking a lot about intentional communication, and uh, we're going to be continuing that conversation today. Before we jump into the show today, I want to remind everyone to go to our YouTube, our Master Networks Inc. YouTube page, and subscribe. There is a ton of content on that page. And you'll get, you'll get notified if you subscribe to the YouTube page every time we send out uh, a new video, a new show, show recordings, things like that. This show is also on Facebook. So uh, the recording will be on our Facebook Master Networks Inc. page after uh, the show is done, done being live. It'll also, also be on there also. So today we're going to be talking about purposeful communication that will help uh, your network grow intentional communication and not just from a member standpoint or from uh, a chapter leadership standpoint, it's, it's well-rounded, right? We're gonna be, we are gonna be talking specifically a little bit today about uh, chapter leadership. So if you're a chapter leader or if you are hoping uh, to one day become a chapter leader, I also wanna caution everyone that a leadership isn't a title, right, Brian? It's not just a title. There's many other roles in leadership and, um, you know, we have a, uh, you know, we have a mentality at Master Networks of a serving community, right? And we want to make sure that everyone's serving. And so if you're part of the welcome team, you're a leader in that chapter. So this is for everyone, really. Uh, but we want to, we want you to build your leadership skills, because that helps not only in Master Networks chapters, helps in your businesses, helps in your communities, your churches, your families, everything else. We're, we're all leaders in some sort of way, and we're all trying to grow our leadership skills. So let's continue to do that. We got a question? Oh, okay. Says, Hello, fellas. Ashley, Ashley's uh, Ashley's been on the show. I think she's she's a um, uh, what do they say? She's a fan. She's like a top fan, right, of the show. So thanks, Ashley, Ashley for fan. joining us. Fan yeah, girl. Ra <laughs> raving fan, fan girl. She's a fan girl. Thanks, <laughs> Ashley. Good to see you. Uh, I know you're doing doing big things there in Missouri right now, building she's that. She's crushing it out there. Yeah, that's exciting. Love having her in that role. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us. So Brian, let's uh, let's jump right in. So today we're going to talk about four things. We are going to, we're going to talk about the wide reach of social media, right? And how wide that is. And we're going to dive into how we use it, how we're using it now, maybe being a little bit more intentional about that. Grabbing people's attention with handouts, handwritten notes, things like that. Making a friendly phone call, right? We'll talk about that, dive into what that means. And then building it, you know, if it's that saying from, um, my gosh, what's that movie? If you build it, they will come. Uh, field of dreams. Field of dreams. Field of dreams. Right. So we're going to be talking about what it means if you build it, will they will they truly come to it? So um, let's dive in the challenge. So we're going to issue a challenge, just like we do on every show. Or the challenge today is, as a Master Networks leader, as a member in, in a chapter, we're going to challenge you to get intentional about these these activities that will truly help your chapters grow, create more opportunity for not only you but the other members in your chapter and time blocking for these activities and committing to it. Commit to doing this for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 
and see what the result is and building that habit. And I assure you, we're talking about things that truly do work. They worked for Brian, they worked for myself, they worked for others around the country. And so you got to commit to, uh, to building those habits. So Brian, let's dive in. Um, so one of the things that we've been talking about the last uh, couple shows is this, the book, Seven Levels of Communication, written by uh, Michael Mayer. Got my book right here. Got my book. And Brian, I know that you've used, you've used his tools and his tactics and his resources over the last few years to help build your network in the Florida area. One of the things that you've done is you've created actually a five levels of communication from that seven levels uh, yeah. for master networks. So we're going to talk about that today. Let's, let's start by talking about the wide, um, wide reach of social media. Let's talk about that. I don't know if you want to bring up, I know you have a diagram. I don't know if you'd bring that up and we can kind of go through it to kind of give a visual to our yeah. folks. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys can see that now. The The pyramid is up on the screen. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's some of the fun things, right? So just going through that, after reading that book, The Five Levels, actually we quoted it in our meeting this morning. Uh, there was a little breakout session, and they were talking about some of the strategies to, to, to really kind of take care of your customers afterwards, you know, and it was related to real estate and hosting an open house, and and uh it was just neat, neat stuff. So always quoting the book still, even this to this day. Uh, so yeah, the seven levels of communication is powerful. And so then I looked at our chapter and how we could apply it to our chapter. And there were two levels in there that I thought, well, we're not really doing that a lot, you know, in the chapter level. And one of the, of the levels was um, uh, doing uh, direct mail. And so I don't know a lot of people are doing like mass mm -hmm. levels of direct mail. So I took that one out. And then the other one was doing like, uh, like, like, billboard advertising and commercials right and, and media broadcasting and and i haven't quite reached that level i don't know if anyone else was but so i just chose to leave that one out so it's left us with the top five and that's what we have here in the screen now so um, funny so funny thing about billboards yeah i do believe i have to double check but i do believe master networks in its very early stages had a billboard in minnesota i'd that have to confirm awesome. that with Chaz, but i'm pretty sure they did that'd be pretty fun yeah <laughs> But no, hey, look, I'm, I can't wait till I'm at that point, right? And there's more <laughs> run and, and, and it's happening. It's in the vision. It's in the vision. Then we'll expand it, right? I could see your face on a billboard in South Florida. I don't I want mean, to see my face. Well <laughs> we want members to come. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm derailing you. So let's keep yeah. moving. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, uh, yeah, like you were sharing, like, so the first one we wanted to talk about was the wide reach of social media. And yeah. um, it's powerful, right? Just like we, we, we use Facebook all the time. You know, there's, there's, there's Instagram, which I haven't tapped into, but there's a lot of different ways to, to promote our chapters through social media. And one of the things that we do is we set up events, you know, for all of our chapters, especially our chapter development meetings, uh, our socials, you know, we'll set up events. I checked in uh, on one of our socials last night when I got there. It just makes it so easy. Uh, and then you can invite people to it. You can share it all over the place. There's lots of different things that you can do. Yeah. One of the cool things when I was in my meetings, though, we were doing chapter development meetings, we're like, hey, invite, invite, invite. And then we would talk to people and they're like, well, I did. And we would share, how did you invite? You know, because we didn't have a whole lot of people in the room. Right. And they're like, well, I shared it on Facebook. And so they would <laughs> take it and share it on Facebook and think that they were done. And I was like, okay, well, that's great. I put some you know, message out there. Um, but you have to really hit a lot of people, you know, to see some action in that. I think too, with social media, Brian, I kind of look at it. <clears throat> there's like two lanes of social media. There's the marketing lane and then there's a the prospecting lane. So like with the, the creation of messenger in Facebook, I mean, I think to a point there is some prospecting you can do, but for the for majority of it really is more marketing. Like you said, like the events on Facebook, that's more to kind of put, put the word out there, the brand out there and attract that way when you're sending out a Facebook message, an invite to an event, things like that, and you're adding a personal message to it, that's more of the prospecting. So I think you could do a little bit of prospecting, but like you said, you know, it's a, it's a wide reach um, and it has a little bit, maybe less intentional impact and personal touch to it, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, so we don't wanna do, we don't wanna take away from any one of these steps. Every single step is important and they stack upon each other, just like the way this pyramid's built, right? And, so the foundation of it is, yes, send out some social media, send out posts, share events, right? Tell your friends. Uh, and, and, you know, like I like to go into groups, like there's other professional groups that are in, you know, that, that aren't like connections that I have, my own connections, yeah. but the people that have gone into other professional pages uh, or professional groups. And so I'll share stuff on there as well. Yeah. And, uh, and it's powerful to hit a wide range and also send in like text messages, 
you know, and instant messages, hey, come check us out, come see us, right? But you can do that on more of a mass scale. Yeah. When you contact a thousand people, you know, you might get a, a 2% response on something like that, right? And it, then it's like, people that yeah. show up is- it's like all these, Brian, you know, there are, there's all, there's a need and a purpose for all of them. There, it's, it's, I think what we run into sometimes is we take the easy road. I know I've, I've been there, right? Like you take the easy road because it's a lot easier to post something on Facebook than it is to make a phone call yeah. sometimes, yeah. but it's using them all um, and being intentional about it uh, and know and understanding really what your reach is going to be. But one thing I want to say before we leave kind of social media, I know one of the, one of the big uh, websites we're all using right now is Eventbrite and there's actually an Eventbrite um it's Eventbrite tutorial on how to set up an Eventbrite Facebook or Eventbrite Facebook, Eventbrite event page uh, on our Master Networks YouTube page that Andriana did. Uh, and so if you use Eventbrite, it's been really effective for us to set up your social events, your development meetings, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I agree. And, um, you know, with the, uh, the, the, the Eventbrite is a powerful one. Um, and oh, so that's the other thing is, is this is more of like the informational stage, right? So you're connecting with thousands of people or hundreds of people or however many, uh, and then you get a few people coming in and it's just good to get the word out. The other thing it does is it makes it easier when you do connect with people, right? And you do get the invitation out, they've already heard about it. Now you're not telling them for the first time, they've seen it out there, they've seen it on social media. So when you start to move up the you know, levels of communication, it makes your invitation or your connection with them easier because they already know what you're talking about. Great point. I love that. You're kind of setting the stage for that phone call or that face-to-face. They already know yeah. about it, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and then, so yeah, just moving up the uh, the ranks here to the next one, you know, is the uh, the written notes and the written cards. And I think that that is important as well. So with the uh, the cards, you know, uh, and actually it's fun. So there's a, and same thing within our business too. I wanted to share on that that uh, with the electronic media is I see a lot of people with their business, they just start promoting stuff on social media, but I know that they're not taking further action of actually making phone calls or doing anything else, right? And so the next one is cards. We talked about that last, uh, was it last month? Yes. Yeah, last month uh, on the, uh, doing the the, the, the power of sending out cards. And so I was on social media yesterday and I saw one of our members, uh, um, uh, Jason Brooks, who's down in Naples, and he posted a picture of a stack of cards in his mailbox. And he's like, what are you doing today to grow your business? You know, I thought that was amazing that, that he was out there doing that. And it really does help. And so that's a nice little way. If, if someone sent me an invitation and I've seen people like they've rolled them into little notes and handed them out. Uh, but if you get something in the mail or you see a flyer on a desk, again, you've got to contact and touch a lot of people to get a few to respond to that, right? Yes. So yes. you don't want to stop from that. Written notes are powerful. They work. They add to the social media. There's people out there that aren't using social media still. So you can touch on those folks, right? By by connecting with them with a card. But again, it's still at the informational stage. A lot of people see it. They know it's there, but they might not personally take action on it, um, you know, until they're like personally invited. Yeah, so, I love I love the handwritten note too for the follow up piece of it too. That's huge, right? It could yeah, be the handwritten yeah. note for an invite to a chapter meeting or an event that you're having, yeah. but then that follow up is huge too. And I think it just it kind of it cements you in their mind because like like we talked about last show, there's not a ton of people doing doing handwritten notes anymore, you know? Right. Exactly. Exactly. And so I think it's great, you know. When you think about events that are out there, if I think about where have I seen flyers, you know. There's, there's a lot of flyers that I've seen out there that I haven't taken action on. Uh, and then there's some that really spoke to me that, that did cause me to take action. But yeah, there's yeah. been things that, you know, if I think about it in the long run, like I've seen, I've seen flyers out there, I knew it exists. And then I never took action on it until someone reached out to me and personally invited me. Yeah. And then that shifted my, you know, my activity level. At that point, I was like, hey, you know what? Thanks for reaching out. You're right. That does is something that I should, you know, check out. I'll come at that point. Yeah, it's a it's a perfect kind of icebreaker when you make that phone call. It's that intro. It's and and I I know we used to do it or you know when I was in real estate, I would do that a lot. I would send out you know like a postcard to a potential prospect. Um, maybe I wanted to list their house, and then I would follow up with a phone call and I and I touch base on. I'd I'd start it with hey I know you received my card or I hope you received my card that kind of thing. So yeah. it's a good way to intro that phone conversation for sure. Here, I'll share a quick example of the. Um a flyer that we've done before, which is kind of fun. Let's see if I can get it to move here. 
So here's a, an example of a flyer that we did a while back. Uh, okay. I don't know if the date's on here yet. It just says, yeah, August 25th. But I think this was like August 25th, 2015. <laughs> but uh, so we did a, a luncheon, you know, we would do a monthly luncheon and we would uh, host it and uh, uh, people would come and bring food and stuff. So this was a little flyer that we printed out. And I think four of these printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So I would cut them, you know, into fours. And then we would hand them out at different events. We would post them up like Starbucks up on the wall. Um, I would take them and drop them wherever I could, you know, where people might find one, pick it up and, and, and drop in. And we had some success with that. A couple of people here and there, but I had to put lots of them out there, you know, hundreds of them to get a couple of people to show up to one event, but it, it worked, right? It was effective. I think the other thing too, to think about is that obviously there's a cost, there's a higher cost to some of these, these things, right? If you're printing a bunch of flyers, it could cost you a lot of, a little bit more than obviously making phone calls. Uh, but being strategic with where you're placing the flyers, like you said, especially, I mean, wherever the chapter's meeting, right? They, they should obviously have the flyers uh, where, where the event is. Like we just did an event in Pennsylvania at a work share place and they did a great job of prov promoting our development meeting. Uh, and then also one of the other places I think of for flyers is community centers. So here in Texas, communities are huge communities, a lot of community centers, bulletin boards in all of them. So putting flyers out, cards, things like that, that's a great place to, to promote these things too. Yeah, yeah. And so all of this, right, is the informational stage. It's where to get the message out there. It's logo, right? It's branding. People see Master Network's logo. They know that there's something up there that they don't know quite what yet. And now you want to get them to actually come to a chapter. So then we start moving on into the influential zone of yeah. the five levels of communication. And this is the top three levels right here. And this is where all the the, the 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 meat and gravy of this is right and so yes. uh the the next level up is the personal phone calls and so picking up the phone you know and we always say like uh you know just spend at least 10 minutes a day you know pick up the phone and make some phone calls you know call call you know five people a day 10 people a day i think 10 people a day is a good solid number and invite them and and throughout the week you might hit 50 people and you might connect with you know 20 of them mm -hmm. And, and, and 10 of them might say, I'll be there. And, and out of the 10, five might actually show up. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, there was, we were in a meeting this morning doing a chapter development and there's a young woman in there, uh, Alicia Farman, and she had reached out to 15 people, she said, seven of them confirmed that they would be there. And uh, we had three show up today. And That's so great. Like, All right, there you go, right? 15 people led to three in the room. And there was either a phone call or a personal invitation that she did to, to get those those people in there. And so um, figure out what your numbers are, right? How, how what, What's your delivery? Uh, what kind of success do you have? And then you need to know, if I need to have one, at least one person in the room, how many people do I need to contact? You know, and and calls are, 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 are great. A lot of people don't, you know, take the time to make phone calls. So when someone calls me and, and just reaches out, has some connection, I'm not offended if they say, hey, by the way, come come to a meeting, right? I think it's great because it gives you one more point of contact with a client that you might have, a friend that you want to connect with, right? We've had people that have, have generated referrals in business for themselves by reaching out, making a phone call and inviting someone. Yep. You know, there was a woman that we were starting a chapter. She's like, yeah, I made 20 calls last week mm -hmm. and I got three new pieces of business from it. Yep. And I was like, great. You know, it's, it's a win-win. It gives, gives you a, a point of contact with someone without like legitimately trying to sell them something. It's just being an invitation, being a warm invitation of something that could be of great value, you know, to yep. them and think about your own experience with it. It's a numbers game. There's no doubt. You know, I, I, um, I have that conversation quite a bit. And uh, while it's not about just adding a body to a seat in master networks, that's not what this is about. It's about finding the right people, but you've got to talk to way more people than you think you do to find the right people. You know that very well. I do. I know that. And uh, it is a numbers game. And you just got to, like you said, figure out your numbers. You know, just think, like you said, set a goal for yourself as a chapter leader. And um, trust me, the, the members in the chapter are watching other chapter leaders and how they perform and show up. And so if you're doing an activity and it's working, you'll get other people to, to, to follow suit. You know, maybe it's just Talk to one new person a day about Master Networks that doesn't know anything about Master Networks. I mean, think of the power of that. You know, whatever that goal is, it's I think it's set the goal and then commit to it, right? Yeah, agreed, agreed. Uh, and then just moving on up here to the next one is the uh, networking events, which is another powerful one. So uh, we, we've had huge success. I think this is where a majority of the success in our growth and our chapters has come from is by promoting 
our members to go out to other networking events yep. and uh, connect with people that they that aren't currently members of master networks and maybe that aren't in their you know immediate in, uh, circle of influence. Yep. So as an example, there's a group down in uh, Naples called Warm Introduction Networking uh, and a uh, very powerful group. They, they, they do uh, uh, fundraisers, you know, working with veterans and stuff. And so we've built chapters, you know, from, from that group and the two go hand in hand, right? Our weekly meetings and, and then afternoon socials mm -hmm. and, uh, and vice versa. Now, as we start to get more people into master networks in our chapters, we say, hey, go out and, and visit, you know, these other networking groups. Another one is, is Rockstar. Uh, and Rockstar is a national organization, and, and that's a great one that you can go to. And then you go to Chambers, right? Chambers, uh, Chamber of Commerce, your local Chamber of Commerce, or an event that you go to. Like I sell real estate, uh, so sometimes I go to real estate training schools. And while I'm there, I'll look at the other realtors and say, hey, you know, come visit one of our chapters. Or I'll, usually there's like a mortgage company or a title company or an affiliate of some sort sponsoring the, the, the event. And I'll connect with them and bring them out. You know, you think of builders associations, a lot of time in builders associations, there are lots of different affiliates in there and sponsors. And, and so you can get all kinds of folks, the, the builder, uh, you know, and then you get specific uh, uh, trades, you know, that you can invite to your chapter. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different ways that uh, you can really connect and meet, you know, large groups of people. But again, now you're, you're in their physical space and you're being an invitation when they're there. It's not just some random flyer that they saw on the wall. It's not some random post that they saw on TV. You know, it's not a, a letter that they got in the mail. It's, it's a physical person in front of them with, with you know, the, whatever type of, of energy that you're bringing into that environment and being a warm invitation to, to have them, you know, come visit. Yeah. Uh, and real quick, I'll share this while okay. we're on that is when I'm at an event, um, I'll hand out these cards. And so on the front, it has, you know, Master Network's logo, and then it has our region on there and it has my phone number and, and the, uh, our corporate website. And then on the back, it has your invited. And then I'll handwrite, you know, wherever I'm inviting them to. So I'll have a little conversation. Oh, where do you network? You know, sometimes I might be down in Naples. Sometimes I'm in Punta Gorda or I'm, I'm up in Sarasota. Wherever I'm at, I'll invite them to the closest chapter. Uh, put the name and time and then I'll just put my name on there because I like my affiliate rewards uh, so that they make sure they know how to spell my name right uh, so that those come in. So these are the cool little things that we have printed. And you, know, you can get a thousand of them printed and, and just hand them out all over the place. So. I love that, man. I love that. And, so, and there's a lot of our members who they're using digital cards too. You know, if you have a digital business card or something, you can create an invitation also that you can text or email. So there's a lot of different ways. The one thing I, wanna, I wanted to say too, from my experience also is if you're out there networking in other networking groups, what you'll find is just like we, we have in Master Networks, the, the, the folks that maybe have a vertical that's pretty unique and they go to a lot of different not master networks chapters they tend to be the more connector influencer type of people if you go to a chamber and then you go to you know another networking event through meetup or something like that and you start seeing the same few people at all of these different events those are your influencers and your connectors and they can make a big difference in the growth of a chapter and a region and those types of those people are just they're well connected they're they're trusted not all the time, you know, but in, mo in most cases, right, they're, they're the influencer type people. So going to those different events and getting out of the chapter and getting out there and talking about master networks uh, is a huge benefit. Huge. Yeah, right. Can help you help you grow. You know, it's the same thing. Like when I go to these events, so as an example with real estate, you know, and I was in a chapter and promoting my real estate business and I'd go to other networking events. Usually there's about 15 to 20 other real estate agents in the group, yeah. right? And so rather than just me being like, oh, hey, you know, uh, I'm just connecting with them and saying, oh, I sell real estate if you ever need to, you know, to buy or sell a home, I would say, oh, you're out networking. Well, listen, I have a weekly group that meets, you know, every Thursday at 930 a.m. Come visit it. See if it's be something they'd be interested or not. There's some folks looking for your business to pass referrals to. Yep. And so that'd be an invitation. And then out of every 20 or 30 people I'd invite, we'd have a few show up. And then out of every few that would show up, uh, out of 20, or pe you know, 20 people that showed up, one or two would join. And those people became my referral partners. Yep. Whereas if I had just said, you know, whenever you need to buy or sell a home at an event, I'd have never seen them again. But now like I use my chapters like a web, right? To bring people in and engage with them every single week and, and become, that. you know, referral partners with. So that's, Love that's that. powerful. Same thing, you know, promoting your, your business, right? I mean, when you're in front of people and you're sharing your message and just connecting with them, building relationships on an individual level, whether it be an event, you know, or, or a training or a seminar, um, that's, I think, impactful. Yeah. We're going to move the face-to-faces. We have a quick question though, right? So we have three comments.
Christmas. Three comments. Yeah, Perry Christensen said, this is some really good stuff, guys. Perry, love you, Perry. Thanks for joining us, man. Someone, I believe a newcomer, Latasha's fan, said, hey, this is awesome. Yeah. And then Ashley Burkeen says she loves this, especially since she's currently in the growth stage um, and she's constantly in development meetings. Was it Latasha? Is that you said, Latasha? I, yes. Yes. Latasha, welcome to Master Networks. Thanks for joining us. Spread the word about this show if you think this is valuable stuff. Again, we're talking about purposeful communication on how to build your chapters as leaders, build your leadership skills. Share this uh, with people that can benefit from this. That's how this word spreads and, and we start to create value around the show. So thank you for joining us. So let's jump into face-to-faces, Brian. The Probably the most important secret sauce that we have at Master Networks is our face-to-faces, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. So this is what it's all about using bond, our bond methodology in a face to face meeting. And, you know, we're all out there having face to face meetings on a regular basis, you know, scheduling multiple face to faces throughout the week, creating relationship with our clients and then take a little bit of time and go have a face to face meeting or several face to face meetings with multiple people uh, that aren't members and and be a personal invitation to those individuals and connect with them share with them, just just bond, right? Build on common interest, do an occupation exploration, find out what it is that they do and what you can do to support with them, do a needs discovery. Who can you connect with them? You know, them and, and what products and services do you have to offer that can really take care of their needs? And then at the end, hey, by the way, you know, I love how you show up. I, I love the type of business that you do. You're the type of people that I want to surround myself with. And I've got a core of people that uh, I think you would fit right in with. Love to have you come and 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 visit one of our chapters and see if you like to be a part of it or not. You know, and, yes. and I just be I keep it short and sweet. And if they start asking questions, well, how much does it cost? I'll say <laughs> it's free to visit. Come check us out, right? Well, is it like one of those other networking groups? They are nothing like us. Come check us out, right? Brian, Brian, uh, it's actually going to cost you nothing to join Master Networks because we're going to show you how to network for free, right? Yes, I mean, absolutely. Network for free with affiliate rewards. So absolutely. I love that. Face-to-face meetings are, they're, I mean, they really are. I know we talk about jokingly secret sauce, but like the chapter meetings are wonderful, but these face-to-face meetings is really where you're going to create your relationships. Um, I love a little tip too. I love if you have somebody that comes and visits a chapter, Brian, you invited them to the chapter. They come, they already know you potentially. They know a little bit about you. You've met them, done a face-to-face maybe already. Have someone else in the chapter do a face-to-face after that meeting Even if they join or don't join, it doesn't matter. Have somebody do a face-to-face with that person. They're going to tell their story about Master Networks. And it just solidifies the reason that they need to be in the room and need to be a part of what we're doing, right? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Face-to-faces, I'm telling you, and I I don't want to sit here and say face-to-faces are more important than our chapter meetings, but without the face-to-faces, you're missing the boat. You're just missing the boat on on so much. Not just, again, not just the growth of the chapter, but- uh, the retention of your chapters, the um, identi- being able to identify their leadership in chapters. People will talk a lot more, in, in, in general, will talk a lot more, uh, I don't want to say truth, but be a little bit more maybe transparent or open when you're on a face-to-face. And you might identify someone that is the next leader in the chapter, but without having a face-to-face, you might not know. So Yeah, and I always just say, you know, our chapter meetings are a reminder of what we're up to. Every single week, we come back as a reminder of, hey, we need to keep each other top of mind throughout the week and and, and do that, right? And someone else said, you know, the, the, the chapter meetings are a great way to um, kind of promote and, and, and attract and attain visitors, right? So that yes. you can expand your, your web and your network of folks that you can engage with who are going to be you know premier uh referral partners and um yeah the real magic is in the face-to-face meetings right connecting with them outside of it and so using that to to promote your business using it to to promote your chapter right using it just to create friends and and friendship there's so much magic that comes from that sit down face-to-face you know breaking bread going out doing something fun you know having a coffee whatever that might be with with another member yeah there's nothing better than the face-to-face there's nothing more impactful you might not be able to hit as many people, but it's definitely the most impactful thing that right. you can do. Um, so we're going to wrap this thing up, Brian. But before I have a couple thoughts to wrap it up here. But before we do that, any tips as we leave the show today? I know we're kind of wrapping everything up on this series we just did about communication, being purposeful, seven levels of communication. What would be like the big aha or the thing that you would tell somebody uh, 
that um, has this information now, but they're maybe not sure exactly what to do with it, you know, that kind of thing. What, what tips would you give? Yeah, take action, you know, and, and, and set some time aside, be purposeful in, in what you're doing. Uh, so look at this and be purposeful in setting up your social media, sending out cards, putting out flyers, making time to make phone calls, right? Go into some events, scheduling events, get out of your comfort zone and, uh, and set some face-to-face -face meetings. So I don't know if that's one thing, that's multiple, yeah. but uh, take action. Is the one it could, look, it, could, it can be overwhelming and we, we understand that also. There's so many different means of social media. It's like, well, I do, I do Twitter. Do I do Facebook? Do I do Instagram? Um, you know, Andriana is actually sitting in the room right now and she'll, I'm pretty sure tell you the same thing. If it comes to social media, pick one of those, right? And really start to kind of focus on or one or two and get really good at those, those right? But don't just do social media. At the end of the day, you've got to pick up the phone and make phone calls. You've got to be out there meeting people face to face, you know, um, drop some hand off, some handouts or flyers off at different places. Do, do, do time block it because again, you know, um, the other way I think the other thing I would say is, is don't look at master networks and the growth of the chapter as separate than your business. If you can figure out the best way to mix that together, you know, if you're going to hand out a flyer, it may be for a master networks event, but keep in mind that every person that you're meeting could be a potential client, whether they join master networks or they don't, it's a contact you're making for your business. And if you treat it that way and you time block it that way, Really, the lead generation aspect of your business can be combined with your efforts to grow your chapters as chapter leaders. Absolutely. Uh, it's a great platform that you can use to launch your business from, right? I mean, by, by just having a reason to connect with someone, getting in front of multiple people, getting into leadership, becoming an area leader, being in front of multiple people is just a fantastic way to, to grow your business, you know, and, and it is, it's volunteer leadership, you know, but there's a whole lot to gain from it to, uh, monetarily, personally, professionally, you know, and, and so much good comes from it. Yeah. There's the tangible, right. And there's the intangible ROI that we talk about. And I think the intangible ROI sometimes can be even more of a value. And an example is obviously building leadership skills as being a chapter president or a vice president. We encourage that. And, and our culture wants to build up other leaders and identify leaders. That's, that's how we really impact the communities at the end of the day. And then taking our, our leaders in our master networks chapters, and they're also impacting their communities by being part of other organizations and things like that too. So um, everybody wins. Everybody wins when, when we grow leaders and we have people that step up and, and want to grow their leadership skills. And it, 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 all, it all filters out into not, not just the communities, but your families and everything else. So leadership's important, right? Um, anything else, man? Do we have any comments, any other questions or anything we need to No, Okay. So just a reminder, this show will be uh, running again next month. So look for the, uh, look for the promotional, what the topic's going to be and uh, share this. If, if you felt this was valuable and you watched this today, share this with, with someone else that can benefit from this. Uh, that's how we, how we grow this community and continue to add value to each other. Don't forget to go to our YouTube page and uh, subscribe there. Go to our Facebook page uh, and uh, check out all of the other cool things we have going on there. We have the Connect, Share, Prosper podcast that Chaz does. A lot of good stuff going on. Um, don't forget, we have Connect coming up in April. So we just had a Connect meeting. Connect is coming up. Get your Connect tickets. It's going to be awesome. VIPs already sold out. So we sold out VIP. Get your Connect tickets. Um, what else? Anything else? Kids Connect is going to be part of Connect this year. So many cool, cool things going on. And the last thing I'll leave you guys with is now is not the time to take your foot off the gas with your business. Don't fall in the trap of eating too much turkey and sitting on the couch until January. It's not, it's not going to help you grow your business. Now's the time to go out there, grow your master networks chapters, set yourself up for a successful 2020 by having that network built already, build those relationships, build your businesses. Brian, man. Oh, we got a comment. Yeah. So Coach Blow in New York said, thank you. This is a great session. And Ashley Burkeen said, this is a great episode. She loves this format. Love you guys. Well, appreciate the feedback. Yeah, and that's the other thing. It. Give us the feedback. You know, we'll, we'll bob and weave to create the most value we possibly can. Coach Glow, thank you for everything you're doing out there in New York. And uh, I know you're impacting a ton of lives out there in New York. So thank you for the, everything you're doing. 
Brian, man, I want to thank you for putting the time and effort into the planning of this show with me. And, you know, it's not like we just hop on here and talk. I hope it doesn't right. feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you've put a lot of time and effort into uh, giving your own time to uh, put into this show over the last three months. And, uh, man, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you as a friend. I appreciate you as a member and a leader in our organization out there in Florida. Changing lives, man. I really appreciate you being on the show. Ditto, man. I appreciate it. Awesome working with you. Uh, love being in your space. And uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to be on here and, uh, and share. So it's been fun. And I appreciate all you guys for watching and, and participating and giving us feedback. So Sounds stay, good. Uh, stay on it. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your November. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll be talking to you in December.